Light continues in tonight from the Lloyd Noble Center in Norman, Oklahoma. Number 13, Texas, against number 17, Oklahoma. Ron Franklin, along with John Sunbold, and welcome. Texas on top, 3 to nothing. as we have just about played the opening minute of this one. And Maneki goes for three. He's off the mark, but you would notice that at both ends of the floor, the coaches have Nahara and Maneki guarding each other. Raymond off the rim, won't go. Tough rebound by Stone, and he's fouled inside. Well, great matchups inside Mimmon Maneki for Texas against Nahara from the outside. Oklahoma has to rebound to stay in this ballgame. Wagner, Clay, Williams, Maneki, and Mim. Raymond Price, Johnson, Nahara, and Stone. The five on the floor for the Sooners. You know, Renzai Stone going to the foul line. Ron might be the guy that not many teams talk about when they prepare for Oklahoma, but he will play a important role tonight. Has to rebound, has to keep Mim and contain Chris. Mim already with the three points for Texas. So gets one. In the first game that they played, he had four down in Austin. Oklahoma will run a matchup zone defense. They'll continue to try to find the shooters for Texas. And that, really what they want to do is contain the inside game of this Longhorn. Not allow Mim to get many touches. Mim, air ball, taken down by J.R. Raymond. Gabe Maneki called for the foul, so Nahara has one, and Maneki has one early. Now, down in Austin, Maneki had two fouls after two minutes of play, and Nahara had one. So we'll see how closely they call this one. Well, time. these two guys will bang, will push, will shove, and we'll see how much they will allow these two guys to do it. You have to let them play, though, Ron. They're two both physical players. Shot with the left hand tipped up. Mim comes down with a rebound for the Horns. Maneki gets Nahara in the air and will score. And a technical foul. I think they got Maneki for talking. Interesting call, and Rick Barnes obviously pulls over Gabe and wants to chat about it. Second personal against Gabe Maneki, as we said. This one, the same storyline as the one down in Austin, and the fact that he got two fouls in the first two minutes of that ball. Game. Well, you saw the good ball fake, and as he's coming back down the floor, I'm not sure. Obviously, he didn't thought see that, him say he thought that Nahara yeah. fouled him, and is uh, the reason he said something. They well, want to know how much he said. It looked like he opened his mouth too much. And now he will spend most of the first half on the sideline. We'll take a look, see if we can get an angle of yeah, saying some things directed to the referee. Raymond. Big time shooter on 42% from three point lane. Struggled in the first matchup in Austin. Only went three of 13. Has to shoot it well for Oklahoma to score. Picks up the dribble, gets it back to Williams. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Emphasis on the Sooner defense and shoot around was make Longhorns beat us from outside. Play off the mark. Boy, this crowd is making a lot of noise. Back out front. Three on the way from Raymond. Count it. Young man can hit him in bunches. quiets the crowd with his own three and we're tied again and Williams one of those guys that has a nice stroke has just been inconsistent trying to find it game in game out Raymond gets by Clay gets some help and Owens Owens is going to pick up the foul he just came off the bench he's seen limited playing time because uh, Rick Barnes has said that he has been picking up some foolish fouls, but that one right there, he just stopped, put his arms up, and he was called. Well, so far, it's been called closely. You have to watch out. These are two teams that are very physical. Talked about it earlier. 
There will be a lot of pushing, a lot of shoving. Both teams set a lot of good screens. If you just joined us, Maneki on the bench, picked up two quick fouls, thought that he was fouled by Nahara, which would have been Nahara's second, said something to the official, and Curtis Shaw called a technical on it. Raymond with nine quick points, and the Sooners on top by two. And remember, in the first win by Texas, Maneki had 30 points, so you're removing that from the lineup right now. Well, but in that one also, he went to the bench early and still got 30. That's what's missing. Wagner, or forgotten, actually, the effort he had in the second half in the late part of the first half. Owens working against Nahara. Strong physical player. Likes body contact. Wants the defender to ride him so he can feel him the whole way down. Turnover, Texas. Oklahoma's got numbers. Offensive foul called on Johnson of Oklahoma. Good call. Not a smart play by Nolan Johnson. Out of control. Had the collision at high tower with the call. Kelvin Sampson looking at Johnson. Can I tell him to calm down to get caught up in the emotion when the games get going like this early? They had a mighty good run going right there. Yeah. Crowd at a fever pitch already. Yeah. for three. Terrific block out by Renzi Stone on Chris Mim. Mim coming off one of his best performances this year. Colorado win, 28 points, 17 rebounds. Well, now Owens has got two. And guys, I'll tell you what, both teams better have about 20 players tonight because they're going to need a big old call at this close. Well, frustration foul there because he looked like he had good position. Take a break. 12 to 8, Oklahoma leads. Raymond simply sensational. He's got nine of those 12 points to open this game. Well, I thought really the key in this whole ball game. I think the big guys will uh, push and shove each other, but it's the guard play. And who can make outside jump shots? J.R. Raymond off to a great start. Nine early points. They have already made their mark in their half-court offense. Texas 3 of 9 for 33%. Oklahoma 3 of 6 for 50%. Raymond has hit his last two three attempts in a row. And we've talked about the touches by Chris Mim. It's not that he gets a lot of shots, but if the ball goes into him, that means Oklahoma will have to make adjustments defensively. Price for three, it's not there. Nahara tips it, and a touch last by Texas. Must keep a body on Nahara, and if you do, he has a tendency to go over your back and may pick up his second personal foul. J.R. Raymond, sophomore out of Gastonia, North Carolina, number 11. Men pulls down the rebound after the miss by Avila. Take a look and see if they can get Darren Kelly in the 25 a shot. He's a guy that can ignite this offense in a hurry. Shot clock, plenty of time, crowd applauding. Nice job by Oklahoma, 15 seconds on the shot clock. <laughs> Kelly just inside the three-point line and nails it. Fearless. Coaching staff likes this guy. When he comes in the ballgame, not worried about situations, not worried about who's guarding, he will step up and take the toughest of shots. William Wyatt, number two, a freshman out of Grand Prairie, Texas, into the lineup for the Longhorns as well. And tough matchup for the freshman Wyatt. He's got Nahara. Avila, score it. Only averages about five points a ball game, so really those are bonus, bonus points. If you get it inside, he makes moves like Last that. four or five games, he's been playing a lot better, though, giving him some better quality minutes off the bench. He was here at 10 o'clock this morning, working with Benny Seltzer, assistant coach, on his inside post moves. Little jump hooks, little spins, and they did not have shoot-around till 3 o'clock, so that uh, he was here early working. Great pass and a great cut along the baseline, but they stepped on the inline, and it's the second turnover against the Longhorns tonight. 
Chris McCall put a junior out of Carrollton, Texas, comes in. And it looks like Williams will go to the bench. 